Hi, I'm Izzy Hossack. Welcome to Wild Dish. Now, primarily, I'm a dessert blogger and lover of all things sweets, but recently there's been quite a lot of stuff in the media about us needing to cut back on our sugar intake, so I decided to set myself a challenge. I cut all forms of refined and unrefined sugars from my diet for two whole months and replaced them with good natural sugars. It didn't mean it was going to stop me from eating the occasional sweet treat. So I'm going to show you how to make this magical sweet potato and chocolate mousse. It's one of my favourite things. It's completely vegan and obviously has no sugars added to it and it's completely delicious. So the first thing you need to do is get a sweet potato and we're going to roast it so just grab a fork and then just kind of stab it all over in random places. Grab a bit of foil and wrap it up. Then you're going to put it in the oven about 200 degrees C for 40 to 60 minutes. It depends on the size of your sweet potato. I've already got one here that's been roasted and you can just cut that straight open with a knife. And roasting it makes it super sweet so you get all those natural sugars out of the sweet potato. So the thing that's going to make this creamy is cashews. They are amazing, they're full of healthy fats and I've just soaked them in some cold water for about four hours. You can do it in 15 minutes if you have boiling water, so if you're in a rush you can do that. And then I've got lovely medjool dates, they're the big squishy ones that you see, and I've got six of them here, so you can just tear them in half and then you'll see there's like a big pit inside of it, so just take that out, set it aside, you don't want that in your blender. We've got some water here, we're only going to use about 250 mils altogether, but you're just going to put a little bit of it in the blender first, just to get it going, and then put the lid on. We can add in a pinch of salt, because adding salt to desserts actually kind of brings out the sweetness a bit. It balances that salty sweet kind of layering of flavours that you get. We're also going to add a bit of vanilla extract, which is going to bring natural sweetness and it just adds more flavour too. So that's a tablespoon going in there. Seems like quite a lot, but it just kind of balances with the chocolate flavour because the chocolate's quite strong in this. So you want quite a lot of vanilla to be able to taste it. So I'm going to also add some cacao powder, which is like unprocessed cocoa. So it's not normal baking cocoa, but it has a kind of different chocolate flavour. I think it tastes nicer when you're not baking with it because it just kind of has a stronger chocolatey flavour without being bitter. So if you put that in. Now we can also add in our sweet potato. So I'm just going to break it up a little bit. And we're also going to add a little bit more of our water again. If it seems like it's not blending properly, just like keep adding little bits of water and then try again because the blender sometimes doesn't really like it if it's not thin enough. Great. Now that's all completely smooth and creamy. It's still quite thick though, so you can see like if I scoop it up, it's staying on the fork. So now it's all blended up. I've just got a few little ramekins here. You can get some glasses or something, but I just like putting in cute little ramekins because it looks really nice then. And just spoon it straight in there. If you want to eat it at room temperature, then you can just eat it straight away. But if you want it a bit colder, you can put it in the fridge for a bit. I just get, get in there, be a bit chefy, give them a little swirl, make them look cute. Grab some pistachios here. The lovely green colour will make the mousse look all pretty, so I'm just going to chop them up with a chef's knife here. You can just chop them up chunkily. So first of all, I'm just going to put a bit of coconut yogurt on top of the mousse. It's also dairy free, so it's going to keep these vegan. And coconut milk is also kind of naturally sweet, so it just adds that extra layer of sweetness. And then you can sprinkle on your pistachios. So now they are done. So they're great for things like dinner parties, they're super healthy and super tasty as well. Hope you enjoyed watching the video. If there's anything else that you'd like to see me make, please leave a comment below. And you can click here to subscribe to the channel and click here to see other videos from me. I'll see you next time.